know, your four years here had to have been the time of your life. Um, I want to mention, you were in 2005, you were actually part of the, one of the most recent coaching changes with LSU when Les Miles came in. Around that, what was the mood around the team at that time? What was y'all's first impression of Les Miles when he first met with you? Well, obviously 2005 was, was you know, a, a worrisome time for a lot of people in Louisiana because of the Hurricane Katrina right. and for a first-year head coach to come into a program like LSU who had won a national title only two years before. There's a lot of pressure, and then a hurricane hits, but uh, Coach Miles handled it about as good as anybody could have done it. You know, he made it all about family, uh, make sure your families are okay, we'll worry about football later. And so he handled it about as good as anybody could. And we actually had a pretty special year that year. We yeah. lost the SEC championship to Georgia, but we won a lot more games than people would have thought after the tragedy of Hurricane Katrina. So Coach Miles, if it wasn't for him, I think it could have all fallen apart, but he held it together. Yeah, and that had to have been tough for, I know some players probably had family members from New Orleans. And you guys are trying to prepare for a season like weeks before. What was kind of like, you know, what were you guys thinking when Hurricane Katrina hit and then you know, you kind of have to put the season on hold for a Right, second. yeah, it was extremely tough. Um, we were supposed to play Arizona State in Baton Rouge, and they had to move that game to Tempe, Arizona. So you're preparing for a game you think is going to be a home game. Then you have to fly uh, across the country and play a good Arizona State football team. So it was extremely strange times. Um, my roommate was from New Orleans, and uh, his family couldn't get back to their house. And so we had six of his family members in our apartment complex wow. over there on west campus and if yeah. you've ever been over there they're not the biggest places right. and so to have eight nine people in these places but you know people didn't have shelter they didn't have homes anymore and so uh, you tried to make the best of a bad situation and um the campus lsu campus sort of opened up its resources i know the pmac was kind of used as like a hospital right i mean what do you remember about about that and just kind of the evacuees coming to the campus well the whole time uh it, it was just a very strange feeling i, I can remember i was uh, in Shreveport when Coach Miles called all the players back, he said he wanted everybody back in Baton Rouge so we didn't get all spread out. And I can remember being on I-49 and from Shreveport to Baton Rouge, it was bumper to bumper traffic. And, wow. and going southbound, I was the only car from Shreveport to Baton Rouge the entire way. It was like almost like an apocalypse had happened. It was a very eerie feeling and just a crazy time in, in, in Louisiana history. And uh, you know, thankful uh, you know that all that's kind of been past us, and it's been 10 years. Because I mean, it feels like it was yesterday. It was such yeah. just a huge tragedy, and uh, I think the people at LSU and the state of Louisiana did everything they could to make it the best of a, a bad deal. Yeah, and you guys obviously a memorable season in 2005. I think you went 11 and two. You had to play nine straight weeks or something like that. Yeah, yeah, we we played Tennessee like on a Monday night. It was extremely strange. Uh, we, um, I think we played Miami in the Peach Bowl that year, and it was a, a good matchup, and we ended up uh, beating them pretty handily. So it ended up being a great year, uh, right. a great season for our first-year head coach. And that kind of, uh, you know, everybody says the 2000 team was such a close-knit team. We really didn't have a bunch of superstars, and I think years like 2005 are the reason we were so close.